Hey everybody, welcome to Two Guys in a Cooler. Today we're gonna to be talking about something called a soap cost calculator. This is a document that I've been working on to help fine tune the cost of doing business when you sell soap. It has two pages. One is the calculator itself, that's this page right here. And then the other one is the ingredients page. And the blue section is all about the oil. This is your oil section. For the liquid oils, fill in the price that you paid for the container that you bought fill in the amount of ounces that are in the container, and then weigh one cup of that liquid. You wanna make sure that you either weigh it in grams or in ounces. So if you choose ounces, make sure that everything is in ounces, or if you choose grams, make sure that everything is in grams. The solid butters are generally sold by the pound, so that's quite easy. Type in the solid butter that you want, and then just type in the price per pound. And all of these boxes are completely customizable. You can erase my options and you can type in your own options depending on which ones you use. When you get to your base ingredients, same thing. If you don't use milk powders, you can erase that, you know, or if you use milk powders, you can add it just like that. So this section is about solid base ingredients. This section is about liquid base ingredients. And the base ingredients, I'm talking about the things that you're gonna add to your oil. So sodium hydroxide, steric acid, salt, sugar, milk, you know, things like that. And the liquid aspects of those, distilled water, goat milk, buttermilk, sodium lactate, wine, beer, kombucha, whatever you want. You can just type those, you know, if you want to add kombucha, just type it in just like that. So all of these boxes are customizable to what you use. You're just going to be getting my formula so you can erase them all and start fresh. Uh, same thing with the liquid base ingredients. You're going to type the cost of the container, how many ounces are in the container, and then the weight of one cup, whether it's in ounces or in grams. Here in the middle, you get to write the cost per, for your label. If you use a label and, it, and that label has a cost associated with it, you know, maybe it's a nickel, just type that just like that. Or maybe it's a penny, type it just like that. Uh, this little section is just a key that you can populate with whatever information you choose. I, I particularly found that having the references of one pound to 16 ounces, one gallon to 128 ounces uh, was somewhat useful for me. So I just put that right there. But you could erase that and put your own stuff. Here in the bottom, we have fragrances and clays and colors. And so the way that I did this section was simply you type in the fragrance oil that you use or the essential oil type in how much it costs you per jar, and then type in how many ounces that jar has in it. And that's it. And like I said, all of this you can erase. Look, you know, let's erase all of this, just like that, and type in your own. I'm gonna populate that because this is what I use. All right, and then same thing with the colors and clays. Generally, this is sold by the pound or by the ounce. And so all we do in this section is type in the additives that we use, whether it's clay, activated charcoal, titanium dioxide, cocoa powder, or anything like that. You type in how much it costs you for that container and how much that container weighs in ounces. All right? Okay. So let's go ahead and formulate one of these so that we can convert liquid weight, volume weight, to actual weighed measurements. Because in soap making, everything is by weight not by volume. And let me show you what it looks like when we do coconut oil. So the first thing you want to do when you want to convert your volume into weight is recognize how many ounces are in the container that you bought. So as you can see right here, I've got a little jug of coconut oil. It's 54 ounces. So I'm going to write that down. The next thing we want to do is weigh one cup of it. Now coconut oil is actually kind of interesting because it's sold by volume and it's priced by volume but it's a hard oil because generally it gets solid. So we have to weigh it as if it's a volume. Most other solid oils are sold by the pound, whereas this one's sold by volume. So melt your coconut oil, pour one cup of it in a measuring cup and record the weight either in grams or in ounces. It's completely up to you. Then move on to the next step. Let's input that information into the chart. So right here in my blank space, I'm gonna type coconut oil. I'm gonna type how much that container cost me, which is $24.99. The size of that container was 54 ounces. And I particularly like to use grams. In grams, it was 188 grams. Now, if you use grams, then your ounces column will be empty. 
If you use ounces, then your grams column will be empty. You can't use both, all right? Now, once uh, we do that, that section is complete. Let's go ahead and do buttermilk, which is in this section down here. The cost for buttermilk is $4.50 for me. That container is one gallon, and so I pay $4.50 for one gallon or 128 ounces. And now the, the weight of one cup of buttermilk was 240 grams. So when you're finished inputting all of your information, this is what your formulas should look like. You, one of these two columns will be completely empty, either ounces or grams, right here, and one will be completely full based off of what you have written. And then let's go ahead and figure out the cost for a bar of soap. And let me show you how to do that. In order to figure out the cost for a bar of soap, you need to refer back to your soap calculator or your lie calculator. And once you have your formulas already inputted, like I do here, we're just going to plug in this information into our soap cost calculator. All right. And so notice I have my oils here. It says coconut oil. So I'm going to click on the first space and I'm going to go to coconut oil. And scroll up. There it is. My second one is going to be castor oil. I'm going to click that. My third one is going to be palm oil. My fourth one is going to be olive oil. I'm going to scroll up. There we go. By default, if it's blank, it's going to be at the bottom here. So if you need to scroll up, just scroll up and you can get the, access to the rest of your list. Uh, there are no solid butters that I've inputted. And so we're going to go to fragrance. Fragrance, I have, if you notice right here, I like you can have additives right here on the soap cost calculator before you print it, which is kind of cool. And so for fragrance, I'm going to be adding tea tree oil and eucalyptus oil. And so all I do is I go through my fragrances that I've added, and I'm just going to pick their tea tree. All right. Also, my solid powders, that's going to be sodium hydroxide. And then right here, I'm going to use buttermilk for this particular recipe. And then clays, I'm only using some titanium dioxide right here and some activated charcoal. There we go. And this is what the soap calculator is going to look like. So now we get to input how much we use of each. Now, if you used grams, you're going to be referring to this section on the right. If you used ounces, you're going to be referring to this section right here in the middle. So because I used grams in my calculator, I'm going to continue with that. And I'm going to just go ahead and fill out the formulas. 90 grams, 270, and then 270. Here we go. All right. So eucalyptus, um, it says here one teaspoon. No, it says two teaspoons of eucalyptus oil. And if you notice on the calculator... I actually wrote a quick a quick chart for each teaspoon of fragrance oil. It's five grams. All right. So it says here I use two teaspoons of eucalyptus. So that's going to be 10 grams and four teaspoons of tea tree. Well, that's going to be 20 grams. There we go. Sodium hydroxide is going to say that I used 129.12 grams, 129.12. And then buttermilk, it says I used 342 grams, 342. Excellent. Finally, titanium dioxide and activated charcoal. I used two teaspoons of activated charcoal and one teaspoon of titanium dioxide. And I've already pre-measured that. And so titanium dioxide per teaspoon is four grams. I'm just going to put that there. And then two teaspoons of activated charcoal would be the equivalent of three grams. So we're just going to plug that number right there. And now that we're done with the soap calculator, we can close that out and look at what we're looking at. All right. So all of my ingredients have been formulated, how much I've used of each one of them. Now, the only thing that I need to do now is plug in how many bars of soap am I able to get out of it that I can sell. Now, that number is going to go right here. So in my case, with this particular recipe, I can get 13 bars of soap. And when I click 13, immediately I get my answer, right? Now, so I, I'm not good enough at Excel to be able to make boxes disappear depending on what you choose. So all I did was I, I put both options here. So if you used ounces to calculate your soap cost, this is the section you would look at. 
if you use grams to calculate your soap cost, this is the section you would look at. All right. So because I used grams, I'm going to ignore this box and just look at this. And this recipe cost me a dollar and 10 cents per bar. So I have two prices, one wholesale and one retail. For me, when someone wants to purchase 50 bars or more, they usually get the wholesale price. That's this one right here. And if somebody wants to purchase less than 50 bars, they usually get the retail price. Now you can choose to use these prices or not use these prices, but these are just suggestions. Generally what we do when it comes to wholesale pricing is we double our cost per bar. And then generally what we do when we go to retail pricing is we quadruple our cost per bar. And this takes into consideration our time. It takes into consideration our creativity, our equipment, things like that, things that are hard to quantify. And that's it. That's how the soap cost calculator works. Hopefully this will give you a better idea of how to price your soaps. Hopefully it'll give you a better idea of what your soaps cost and it'll give you a more profitable business so that you can go out and from day one begin to earn money, not only to pay for your equipment, but be able to have a, a small secondary or primary income. And I appreciate you watching this video. If you have any questions about it, let me know. Leave them in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions on how to make this calculator better, I'd love to hear it. Like I said, this is a beta version. We're in version two right now, and version two is like a million times better than version one. So I appreciate the feedback from the first version, and I look forward to hearing uh, what your thoughts are. Thanks a lot. Stay tuned. We'll talk to you in the next video.